G'day, I'm Andrew with the all new all wheel drive Subaru Outback. And today we're getting to grips with this amazing car's increased towing capacity. To do that, we're gonna do some freeway driving, we'll do some tight little turns, some winding roads, and it's all to show you how the new generation Outback performs under load. I think now more than ever, it's a great time to see Australia and what better way to do it than with a caravan. So we've hitched up a Jayco Crosstrek and we've loaded it to just under 2,000 kilos. According to the engineers, the all-new Outback will pull that without breaking a sweat. Now, I've got Brad, the engineer, to help me out, but remember there are many different factors that will affect how much you can actually tow. And that could be your tow bar design to your tow ball download. Either way, check the specifications of your equipment and always consult your Outback owner's manual. And I reckon that's it. Brad, we good? Good to go. Sweet ass. The all-new Outback can tow 200 kilos more than the outgoing 3.6-litre Outback and 500 kilos more than the outgoing 2.5-litre model. Its total brake towing capacity is 2,000 kilos. To understand how it can do that, I had a chat with the Subaru engineers. They told me it came down to five different factors. First, chassis strength. One of the biggest changes on the new Outback is the introduction of the Subaru Global Platform. SGP is the chassis, or think of it as the frame that the rest of the car sits on. The introduction of the SGP has a 70% increase in front suspension rigidity, as well as overall chassis torsional rigidity, plus double the rear subframe rigidity. So this means it can handle heavy loads and resist that twisting and turning that's induced by dragging a heavy trailer. Second is the engine. The new Outback has been fitted with a powerful 2.5-litre direct injection engine with 90% new parts. This new engine produces 138 kilowatts and 245 newton metres of torque, meaning more power and more torque to haul heavier loads. Third, cooling. The radiator of the all-new Outback is larger in all dimensions, resulting in around double the internal volume. Coupled with larger radiator fans, more powerful fan motors, and a newly designed CVT oil cooler, the thermal efficiency of the Outback's powertrain can be optimised to handle the extra heat generated by towing up to 2,000 kilos. Fourth in the engineer's list, the transmission. This all-new Outback has a redesigned and optimised CVT transmission. The expanded ratio coverage, and importantly, the lowest ratio being 4.066 to 1, as opposed to 3.6 to 1 in the outgoing model's 2.5 litre range, means optimal use of power and torque from the engine to the wheels for a comfortable and graceful towing performance, both on the highway and those steeper inclines. And finally, the rear differential. The R167 rear differential case has been stiffened to improve strength in order to achieve a towing capacity of 2,000 kilos. Look at it. We have no problem keeping up with the traffic as we head up the hill. I don't feel like I'm losing power or speed up hill with a caravan behind. It all feels really good. Now, there have been questions about how this all-new 2.5-litre Outback compares to the outgoing 3.6-litre model. Well, here's the thing. The outgoing 3.6-litre model can't pull 2,000 kilos like we are now, even though it had a higher engine output. Where it differed was in the strength of the chassis and the cooling system, and this resulted in its maximum towing capacity reaching only 1,800 kilos. Another area where the all-new Outback betters its 3.6-litre predecessor is petrol consumption. The new generation Outback not only has a higher towing capacity, but it uses only 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres on the combined cycle. So, pending the load, it should have a significant efficiency advantage over the outgoing 3.6 litre engine. Well, that's it. I mean, what a day, what a great day. We've dragged the 2,000 kilo Jayco round for the lot of it across some beautiful roads with the freeway driving and the hills and the turns and the all-new generation Outback towed like a dream. It really did, it felt brilliant. Like, just at every moment, it was good fun. And I think that goes to show that the integrity of the engineering and the reliability, something Subaru have just handled beautifully generation after generation. So that was the easy part. Now the hard part, setting up camp. 
Wish me luck. I'll see you next time.